Recruiters are searching for you right now. That is, they're looking for someone with your exact skills and experience. I've reviewed over a hundred LinkedIn profiles in my career. Let me show you the right way to optimize yours so you end up at the top of the recruiter search results. This is part four of my 12 week series where I help a client and hopefully you land a better job in under 12 weeks. So don't forget to subscribe and follow along. Let's jump in. Step zero, get your resume ready. We'll be using your resume and AI to optimize your LinkedIn profile. If you haven't updated your resume yet, check out that video linked in the description below. Step one, update your work experience section in your LinkedIn profile. Your work experience sections provides the LinkedIn algorithm with rich keywords that can help with search engine optimization, that is SEO optimization, so you appear at the top of their search results. As a hiring manager, when I was sourcing candidates, that is when I was looking for candidates for my team, I would also read their whole LinkedIn profile. So we wanna make sure that your LinkedIn profile is human readable as well. Here's my prompt. Act as a personal branding and copywriting expert with 10 plus years of experience optimizing LinkedIn profiles to attract recruiters and hiring managers. Please rewrite my LinkedIn work experience sections using my resume content. Make it concise with max three to five bullet points per work experience and max one to two lines per bullet. Also make it impactful and SEO friendly. Use strong verbs, highlight measurable results where available and include relevant industry and role specific keywords to enhance SEO and discoverability. Please don't fabricate any results or achievements. Here is my resume and then paste your resume. Even though we put guardrails, AI can still hallucinate so be sure to review and edit whatever AI gives you. Step two, update your headline. This little blurb is so important, it appears next to your name in the search results. So let's use it to grab recruiters and hiring managers' attention. As an FYI, there's a limit of 220 characters for this headline. We're gonna ask AI to give us five headlines so we can pick the best one, or we can pick parts that resonate with us most and make our own headline with those best parts. Here's the prompt. Based on my resume, suggest five compelling LinkedIn headlines for my role and industry that effectively enhance my professional brand and visibility. Each headline should be concise, keyword rich, SEO optimized, and emotionally resonant, highlighting my skills and impact. Maintain a polished and confident voice appropriate for LinkedIn's professional environment. Do not invent experiences or achievements. Now, if you don't want your current employer to know that you're looking for jobs, you can use this addition to your prompt. I do not want to reveal to my current employer that I'm looking for a new job. So don't include any language that indicates that. Step three, update your LinkedIn cover image. We've all heard that a picture is worth a thousand words. Yet I see people leave that cover image blank. That is precious real estate, second only to your headline. So let's use it. Now you can use the same words as your headline, but why repeat yourself? I like to think, how can I use the cover image to best complement my client's headline? You can use an image, text, and subtext, but keep it minimal. Here's a prompt to spark ideas. Can you generate 10 ideas for a LinkedIn cover image that would be appropriate for the role that I'm seeking? Give me ideas for background visuals and text overlays. Be specific about any positioning colors, and fonts. Once AI gives you ideas, you can use canva.com to put it together and design your cover image. Canva also has a free version and various templates that you can pick from. Alternatively, you can also use a stock image. My go-to source here for copyright-free stock images is pexels.com. I'll link these in the description below. Step four, update your about section. You can make this very corporate, but I like to make it a little bit more casual while keeping it professional. As if I'm getting coffee with a new colleague and we're doing warm introductions. Here's my prompt. Using only the work experience and achievements from my resume, write a three to five sentence about summary. Make it conversational and approachable, as if I were having coffee with a colleague, while keeping the tone confident, professional, and compelling. Ensure it is SEO optimized for LinkedIn search. Edit whatever AI gives you to match your specific tone. Step five, update your skills section. You can list up to five skills towards the top of your LinkedIn profile. These can give a good overview of your skill set in case the hiring manager or recruiter don't read the rest of your profile. Here's the prompt. Based on my resume, what are the top five skills I should list 
that are most likely to attract attention from recruiters and hiring managers. Make sure that these demonstrate impact and improve search visibility. Do not invent or infer any skills. Now use these skills to update that top section and share your top skill in the comments. I'd love to get to know you better. LinkedIn also has a larger skills section. Since you've already optimized your resume, I would just use the skills listed in the resume in those top 50 skills. It's okay to have three, four variations of the same skill. Warning, don't fake it. Some coaches say that it's okay to list skills that you don't have. I strongly advise against this. Skilled hiring managers will dig deep into your skills during your interview. If you don't actually have the skill, you will lose trust and credibility and may get blacklisted from applying to this company. The only case where it's okay to list it is when you're actively building that skill. That is, you can speak knowledgeably about it if asked during an interview. Step six, get endorsements and recommendations from your past colleagues. It will help build credibility. Quick note, it doesn't make sense to ask all your ex-colleagues for recommendations or endorsements. Just ask those ex-colleagues who actually worked with you and can speak to your skills and experience that you bring to the table. Bonus section, few additional tips for updating your LinkedIn profile and for search engine optimization. One, add a PDF version of your resume to your LinkedIn profile if you haven't yet. This will also add keywords to your profile, which help with search engine optimization. This is how you upload your resume. Go to jobs, preferences, scroll down to resumes and application data. Here you can upload your resume. Two, follow companies you are interested in especially the ones that you're applying to. Sometimes recruiters may narrow down their search by checking which of these candidates are actually interested in my company. Three, set location to where you want to be instead of where you are currently located. Because sometimes recruiters may narrow down their search parameters to just local candidates. Four, join relevant professional groups on LinkedIn, participate in conversations and post helpful content as time permits. This will help build your online brand. Building a brand online is no longer optional in this tough job market. It is essential as it can showcase your thinking, help others connect with you and see if they vibe with you. And you can subtly share your skills and experience that you bring to the table. And that'll be covered in my next video, which will appear here when it's ready. And if you'd like to partner with me and get one-on-one -on -one support on your job search, be that resume revamp, LinkedIn profile optimization, mock interviews, or my premium 90 day coaching, check out my link in the description below. I wish you the very best, you got this.